In this competition, we're hoping to find the next superstar designer to dress superstars. It's really adorable. A hint of cleavage always works. The thing with her outfit was it was just so dated for me. When I saw it, I just instantly was like, that's it. This is where your time with us finishes. <laughs> I love this. The color palette is genius. girl of the world right now. To be here now is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me so far. London has always been one of my favorite cities to come to. I always go shopping, I always go out on the street walking around to see what the kids are doing. They always set the trends for the designers. What I'm really looking to find is the next innovative young designer. Someone like Vivian Westwood or Alexander McQueen. Hi, nice to meet you. Rihanna, good to meet you too. These designers are actually the fashion kids on the street who don't have the opportunity to get to the next step. The fashion kids always do something new, always do something innovative, and that's what this competition is about, and that's why I came to London. That is your strong point. Yeah. Like, this is incredible. I would see this and I would be like, I know that's you. So wow. stick to textures. This piece is so sick. I love this. Oh, thank you. Is this? Yeah, I made this myself. Really? Mm -hmm. And everyone was so good. You had to put their work next to each other. And it was really difficult to choose the, the 12. Ben is definite for me. Oh. Chanel. Anam. Next is Brett. Ricky, I'm down with Heidi, man. Zinab, Sally, Ralph, Steve. I really like Jacqueline. Are you happy? I'm happy yeah. with that. Brilliant. Every time I thought of the designers for the show, I always went back to Henry Holland. Six years ago, I was in pretty much the exact same position as these guys were, um, starting my company from my bedroom and trying to break into the fashion industry. So I still remember what it's like and how it feels to try and get that break. I'm really excited about working with Nicola Roberts. I think that she's truly found her way and found herself through fashion. We could really genuinely find somebody here who can't be undiscovered anymore. Like, that to me really excites me. Since this show is all about dressing and designing for pop stars, I think it's really incredible to have one of the most stylish British pop stars on the panel. No artist wants to step out on stage and for everybody to be like, oh, you know, that's not really working. The connection with the fan base is lost. That there's too much at stake. Lisa Cooper, she's been styling me through all my albums, for stage, for tours, for photo shoots. I'm Lisa Cooper. I'm a stylist, Bronx born, Long Island raised, and I live in New York City. I think Britain actually needs Lisa Cooper. I've always found London to be super stylish. There's a great saying, fake it till you make it, and this is the land of that. Look at those pants. Brace yourself. That's all I have to say. <laughs> These designers are getting the chance to work with some of the biggest celebrities there are. And as Rihanna's stylist, I know exactly how challenging that's gonna be.
I'm really excited about doing the show, and I'm really excited that you guys are involved. I have an idea for the first challenge. I want to give them a kind of a dry run where they work for the artist, but not with them one on one. I want to see how they work with a briefing and and how they take direction before we let them loose on our friends. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. Good idea. I want them to design something inspired by one of my very good friends, Kanye West. Back, back, see my cut through the hole. Damn, easy and ho, where the hell you been? Talking real reckless stuff, man. I adopted this for the drama now. I think this is really going to throw them off. For one, it's a menswear challenge right at the top, which they probably won't be expecting. It's yeah. perfect. It's definitely going to test them. I'll leave it to you guys to set the brief for the challenge. I'm going to pick the winner. Good luck. I love London. She's from my hometown, so... You're going to click. I'm, I'm already going to have to try not to be her favourite. She is obsessed with death, <laughs> which actually slightly worries me. She's fascinated by murder. She's obsessed with death. And she wants you to call her Madame Jacqueline. That worries me a little. Are you going to do it? No. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, Jackie. <laughs> My name is Jacqueline Nikita, and people call me Madame Jacqueline. The type of thing that inspires me, I always watch, like, criminal minds, vampires. I get, like, this, like, feeling of like, oh, I'm so excited, I just want to do it, you know, I just want to do a collection just based on that, and it's just absolutely amazing. I love your stuff. Thank you. A lot. How do I feel if celebrity wear my clothes? It would be bananas. She's got a double, she's got an M-M name, like M-H-H, that's good. But Why? you said she's a real pessimist. Can't say that. Yeah, she is. I do find fashion is an elitist thing, you know. If you've got the money, then you can go and do whatever you want. If you haven't got the money, then you're stomped. That really does anger me. You know, I've seen people, like, who, can't, who haven't got half as much talent as me, but yet are making it because their mummy and daddy are giving them all the cash in the world to go and do what they want. And I'm like, hang on a minute, you know, where's someone giving me a bit of cash to show what I can do? Hello. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Look at that coat. Oh, thank you. Hi. Ooh. How's it going? Good, thanks. How are you? Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my so God. Funny. Oh, my God. I still want to get stuck in. <laughs> I can't wait to tell them who the first challenge is. Oh, you're beside yourself. Yes. So let's go and say hello. Yeah. Yeah. I describe myself as eclectic, um, fierce, and hungry. I love design, I'm always designing. I need to be working like all the time, I'm literally a workaholic. I deserve to be in this competition because I want it more than anyone. I genuinely believe I'm destined for big things. We're super excited to finally meet you. This is really exciting. You've been handpicked by Rihanna. As you know, we're looking for a very creative, driven, talented individual. And I have a funny feeling we're gonna find that with you guys. Yeah. We're ready to reveal to you your first challenge. And Nicola is very, very excited, actually, aren't you? Dying. Dying. <laughs> so challenge number one is to design for... Kanye West. <laughs> So I'm definitely feeling the pressure um, from Rihanna this week. She's set the task, and I really want to impress her, and I'm really eager to show her what I can do. Rihanna's, like, basically just 
you know, watching after us like an eagle. Good luck. Thank you. Even though it says stick to the black family, that doesn't actually say do all black. That's true, it's Tony. So... You have to get it right. I don't do Mensa. I haven't even thought or contemplated ever to do Mensa. Wow. Um... Hip-hop is not my thing. It's not like I don't like it. It's just that um, I don't listen to it. So when I got Kanye West, I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Do you think you'll find everything down here? I hope so. So we're looking for black leather, yeah? Yeah. The decisions that they make at the fabric buying stage will make the difference between the winning outfit and being kicked off the show. There's so much to choose from. It's like, where do you start? A really key thing is to know exactly what you want to buy when you go fabric shopping, because otherwise you can get in there and you just get blinded by the choice and it just messes with your head. You just need to keep a really strong focus. This is 100% pure wool. It's actually made to be worn in the desert at night. OK. It has to be in the colour of black or married to the black. And I'm thinking, well, you know, in the desert, people look a bit black, so, you know. That's good. Huh? <laughs> so you're going to customise these? Yeah, into right. leather, stitch. Yes. So yeah. like a biker jean. Biker jean. Right. And all these are studs. The only thing that I'm worried about with the pants, don't overdo the pants. No, I know, because it'll be tucky-tucky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, I've worked so hard my whole life to be here today. I'm doing this for me. My clothes might not be wacky, but they're me. And I know that I will be someone, and I know I'll be big and I'll be spoken about in years to come. I want my label's name to be on every celebrity's lips. I love... Your, your designs and the inspiration. I'm all about tough and feminine at yeah. the same time. Yeah. With a little bit of sexy. I'm gonna win. 100%. Chanel. -o. So you're the only person without pattern paper on your desk. How's. <laughs> you're basically making a mess. And well, I'm gonna say this is the first though. time I've seen any <laughs> leftover money. Yeah, I think that I have um, enough material. It's for the Arabs. Um, apparently, the material is actually for the Arabs. The person that I'm most worried about, I think, is Chanel. She's a bit all over the place. Where's my pattern master? To me, she seems very jovial, very confident. Without reason. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hello, how are you? How do you interpret the term Huddism? My freaking childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on an estate in Tottenham, and it was a bit gritty, a bit hood, you know, a bit grungy, but, you know, it's home. He's from London. Yeah. Are you sure he's from London? My accent is a really awful mess that has been made up of working with working and living with people that are American. So, this is me now. <laughs> this is my one. Ricky, I think you're incredibly talented. Thank you, that's a great honor to hear that. Incredibly talented. This show, this opportunity, it doesn't happen to people like me and where I'm from. It's bigger than me. It's the biggest thing that's ever happened to me, and I want it really bad. My heart skips, skips a beat. I couldn't stand leaving this show making something for someone I admire so much. Yeah. So I'm kind of, that's what's scaring so me. So the stakes are really high for, for me. For me, yeah, it's a big deal.
Marlon. Yo, I represent a new dawn, a new day, fresh as a newborn, a new face. In fact, I need some new broads, a coupe, uh -huh. some new shorts, some new shades, new seats. Uh -huh. The game plan is brand new, we're launching a new dream. dream. Simple and it's basic, I whip into spaceship. The space for me, George Jetson whipping a spaceship. Sick of being tired of yesterday, my shackles are changing. Today, our designers get to fit their costumes on professional models, and designers will also have the opportunity to actually style their outfits. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi. I'm here with the models for their fittings. As a stylist, you experience all kinds of happy mistakes. And today, I think we're going to see some of that pretty, uh, pretty much up close and personal. This is what, if I could have these for myself, I'm settled with these. Okay, don't break your legs. How are you? Um, okay, I'm feeling a lot better now that we're fitting and getting to. What weren't you feeling before? Um, no, 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 because um, I had trouser issues before. You're not dressing yourself. I really feel like this looks like you, and you're making an outfit for somebody else. Ricky was off the mark of not creating a stage outfit for Kanye. I think that is a thing that young and new designers tend to get a little lost in. I love these pants. I love them for myself, to be honest. I wear a lot of menswear. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, last summer, me and my friend opened a store in Spitalfields, basically just to make enough money to go to Ibiza. A couple years back, I ended up homeless because, just generally because of my lifestyle, I was out too much, partying too much, and I ended up in this really rough hostel in Peckham. But then, thank the Lord, I found fashion, and it really gave me a way out. I feel like the hood is not big enough, and that's gonna be hard to do in the matching fabric. I think if you think hoodism means putting a hood on a coat, then you're a moron because <laughs> it's ridiculous. For our client, the artist, mm. you have to give him more bang for the buck, yeah. if that makes yeah. any sense. Any criticism and you're sort of, you get this lump in your throat and it's like, oh my God, oh my God. Sally and I had a conversation and she is now adding a whole other piece to her look. I've actually added an overgarment on top, so I'm actually making a sleeveless bomber jacket. It's gonna have chains coming in. It's gonna be really cool. <laughs> when the models came upstairs, I was like, yes, they're all very, very good looking men as that is their job. Ooh, would you want to see a model again? Don't oh. be asking me that. Which yeah, one is it? Know. Oh, the, the, the cute little oh. Asian one. The cute little Asian one. What's his name? I couldn't tell you if I tried. I was too busy looking it's at Bradley. him. It's Bradley. You guys are so bad. You're like staring at his package so long you can't even remember his name or even Hello, talk to the you name. were staring at your yeah, model. Yeah. Hello, you were like, oh my god, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating right now. Cool. So, let's get your pants off. Okay. It was right now. hot in here, what? okay? No, no. As soon as you want to go. It's the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. I never said that. Like, you know yeah, what? you did. You did. You actually did said that. Hello. So he's gonna wear this. This, I got this for a pound. I love it. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's so Kanye. I think he would wear it definitely. Okay. Just so it's a little detail of what he was like. Color, 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 color. Shirts, color, color, color. T-shirts, baggy, baggy. It's the same. It needs to be new. Do you okay. know? Do you, am I'm, I making sense? Totally. I have no fucking clue what she said. She's on a different uh, planet. But I think that that's kind of okay too. My name is Heidi Michelle May. Um, I come from Norwich, representing. Um, <laughs> get it where you can. People take me seriously. Um, I can sometimes be a bit overwhelming for people and a bit much, but so long, um, among, amongst all the like rhetorical fireworks, I do make sense. You kill um, men's, okay, men's wear. If you can turn that into your women's, yeah. do that. Okay, 
because I would wear everything you you have up here on this guy. Oh, everything. Focus. Okay, cool. Fashion means everything to me. I really take this seriously and I really want to be a designer. I want this more than anything, anything, like I've ever wanted anything. He looks like he's about to go to the beach. But I love that. I love it too. Good! But that's not oh. part of the brief. Oh. Okay, yeah, you just hit like a massive, yeah. I was so confident in my design earlier before I saw Lisa. I had a blue jacket and, um, and I wanted him to wear it like uh, hanging off his shoulders just so you could see to give the whole thing like my normal silhouette but secretly I know deep down I have to make trousers with the blue coat thing so I need to do it and I almost I like saw it in Lisa's eyes that I need to do that I feel sick <laughs> honestly I feel sick <laughs> <laughs> if I don't got, make it work wall, so let's get on I'm going home you. okay make it happen girl she's trying to come up with a new concept very quickly so she's, she's feeling the pressure. Mantone or Canto, it'll look ridiculous and cheesy. And I can't use Kanye, because I've already used it for the hat, and that's why, like... Heidi has had a couple of episodes today. And, you know, it put everyone on edge, and it really heightened the sense of tension in the room. Stress. And now I can't, like, literally, the whole concept is out the window, and we have, like, two minutes of fitting. <laughs> and believe me, we're all criers. I'm, I'm a big one, but just on a general. Okay, we that... can't be crying on day three. No, just, um... just so you know. Because you're never going to make it all the way through if you're already emotional. It just, no, it just releases everything. Like, I, can't... I know, but... Sorry. Once she does sort of, let's say, go back to the brief, I think she could make an amazing outfit. <laughs> a few things nearly done, and I just need to make my jacket. I think at the moment I can say it's all cool, but you never know. You never know. I'm still very confident. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge. That's, 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 oh God, that's not going to be an issue. That's not going to be an issue. Okay, everybody. I'm, um, I'm almost done for today, and I'm going to leave you guys to finish up tonight. So tomorrow you'll be showcasing your work professionally. And I think that uh, what I've seen so far is amazing. And then there's the other side of it that's making me super emotional is that one of you will be leaving us. So I, I just want to remind you how important it is this next few hours of you just sort of really getting your focus together and being very specific about what you need to achieve. On that deep and crazy hippie note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. All right, bye. There's still a lot of work to do for each of them. There's a very short amount of time, but there are 24 hours in every day, and you have to utilize sometimes every bit of that time. Sometimes it means not sleeping. I've actually finished, which is pretty good because a lot of people are struggling, and I wouldn't like to be in their shoes. So yeah, all around happy. What they really have to keep in mind is that Kanye loves black, and there's always that element of street and, and, and hood. I'm going to pick the winner, but then you guys get to pick the loser. It's going to be so hard. Mm. How much sleep did you get? Two hours. What else are you wearing? Some leopard print shoes. Oh, amazing. So inappropriately dressed. I'm so excited to go into the showcase. I haven't had a show since I finished uni. It will be amazing. For our designers now, it's about impact. When that first model comes in and the lights go up and the music is pumping, everybody wants to be impressed. This is the first creation that we're all going to see. It's going to captivate us as mentors to go. She or he is a front runner. Five minutes in, please. So final touch ups, five minutes till we're on. Thank you very much. I just think it's really good. <laughs> Give me half that. <laughs> Lisa gave me advice, and I think she'll appreciate the fact that I've actually taken what she said on board. 
and made a whole new outfit and I think that I get a few brownie points for that. Whoa, I don't think I like the shiny shoes. Woo! Awesome! In the jacket. I really like the shape. I don't like the mix of those colours. Oh my god, my heart is like, oh. The trousers, they're a little bit feminine. This is the customised piece. I think it looks good. I like it. For me, this one's all about the jacket. Love a good collar. Now it kind of gives you power. That outfit is more Will I Am than it is Kanye West. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just about fitting to the brief. Yeah. It's remembering who they're making the outfit for. It's kind of a cross between Muhammad Ali walking to the ring and Mr. T. One thicker chain would have been enough. It also feels slightly dated. I love reflective buckles. This looks really polished. That particular jacket is not good enough. I love this. The colour palette is genius. That's a really powerful stage outfit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the shorts that started life as a jacket. Exactly. It's quite innovative. The only thing that's really off for me are the white sneakers. I don't know how much movement you'd get in those trousers. All the shoes. I've never seen Kanye West in a wedge. Don't think that Ricky took the advice that I gave him. It scares me a little bit. It's a bit too dark for me. This is very much her and not Kanye. Such a risky thing to wear, but at the same time, so well put together, such a good idea, bringing in so many different elements. As an on-stage look, it's brilliant. Hi. Hello. Can you talk us through it? So the premise is um, that this is a street warrior pushed through the whole flavor of fashion pop. All right. It's super daring. If Con used to wear that on stage, it's like, bang, it's so cool. Mm. Wow. And that's kind of what you want with a stage outfit. And that's the place that he experiments mm. is on stage and because he, he wants that reaction. He yeah. wants to come out and people to be like, Oof. Yes. And, you know, and, yes. you know, and a rubber skirt will do that. Yeah, exactly. Will you talk us through the outfit? What I did was stick literally to the brief, black, simplistic. It wasn't very stage. So yesterday, I took Lisa's advice that I'm going to make it stage with what I could do. The trousers, for me, maybe not the right cut. They're a little bit feminine. Why didn't you get the bigger size jeans? Truthfully, I couldn't find any. This is also the most significant part of an outfit, which has been the customised piece. Quickest note to you is that a midriff on a man is never a good move. Yeah. Wow, look at those Hi, legs. sweetheart. Hi. Will you talk us through what you were thinking with the outfit? I think I was channeling the 80s look a little bit, you know, like a little bit <laughs> thugged out. And like, I, I liked it, I liked it. The front needs something more. For me, I think for a stage outfit, you know, initial arriving on stage, you like want a bit entrance. more of a wow factor just from the front. 
I agree with Henry that the artist and the audience both want that <gasps> thing. You want like when a draw, doors, an intake of breath. Yeah, when you? the doors open and it's just not quite there. Hey guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. Will you quickly talk us through the outfit? My concept was the take on the family of black was black culture, African people, African print, black history, to represent the black in the outfit. I think that's really clever. I think that's the first person who's explored keeping it within the family of black from a different angle, and I think that's really interesting. Oh, thank you. It is a costume, mm. and it's like you become this other thing when you put it on. It's amazing. It's thank an you amazing guys job. so much. everyone. So can you quickly talk us through the outfit? I wanted to kind of create garments that hit angles of like the masculine figure and kind of looking a bit broader and a bit more manly than usual. I don't particularly think the trousers fit the brief. The crotch area, shall we say. Henry's uh, trying to say that we can see the willy. <laughs> <laughs> the crotch area is pulled. Revealing. It's quite revealing okay. in that area. Just for movement and for stage, it it's not very ideal when somebody's being sort of sporadic on stage and not really knowing where they're landing. They're spreading their ankle. Yeah. <laughs> the other element that I think is missing is the element of hoodism. I'm just going to show you what happens when you actually style an outfit. Do you mind taking the necklace off for a second? I'm going to show you immediately how you can add some hood. Do you mind coming down for a second? Stand back up. Two seconds, that's like a touch of hood right there. Yeah. And that's all it takes. Hello. How are you feeling about your outfit? What I wanted to do was create a silhouette that represents what I think Kanye West personality is, you know, power, it's commanding, it's got structure. I think it's exactly what I wanted to create. I really love the jacket. Yeah. I think the silhouette, the lines, the way that you've cut it, sort of textured really, really strong. Thank you. I think there's been elements of certain people's outfits which are shockingly bad. And there have been some that are so crazy that they might move right back into brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Overall, I've been impressed. I think it's exciting as well, the range of the different styles of what they've created out of the same brief. It's interesting going from something like this one, which is so creative, to then this, mm. which is so safe. This doesn't come close to something like this, yeah. you know, which we all loved. Mm. Surprisingly, this is the one that really came out of the bag. So for mm. me, the weakest is this. Mm. And this. Yeah, I agree. Tomorrow, we're going to have to send one of them home. Yeah. But it's not up to us to choose a winner. That decision is Rihanna's. We get the Someone. hard part. Okay. All right then, thank you. Bye. Okay, everybody. How's it going? Hi. We're gonna gather around. Done a great job. There's been some real signs of promise, but we have a long way to go. We've spoken to Rihanna, and she has chosen a winning outfit. She feels that this outfit encapsulated the vibe of Kanye. It had the most nod to hoodism. She felt like it really was something that she could see Kanye wearing. The designer who Rihanna has chosen as the winner of this first week's challenge is...
Zeynep. Picking a winner was hard. I really liked Zainab's outfit. I felt like she captured the essence of Kanye the most. They're definitely strong pieces that he would wear. Um, they have an edge to them without being too eccentric, and it's all black. They're very Kanye. I think people underestimate me for the win because I'm the youngest, but now I think they realize that you know what, I'm actually competition. And I'm, I may be small, but you know, I've got a big bite, so. <laughs> okay, that was the good news. Now, here's the bad news. This is the part that we dread. We feel like some of you really excelled this week, but we also feel like some of you fell a bit short and didn't give us what we were looking for. There are two of you that we need to see in the office to hear your side of events before we make our decision. The first person is Sally. Sally, we feel like your customised piece made up too much of your final outfit and therefore we need to see you in the office. The second person we'd like to speak to is... Ricky. We feel like you designed an outfit more for yourself than Kanye West. So, the rest of you, well done, congratulations. And Sally and Ricky, if you'll join us in the office. Okay, Sally, for us, you took the brief too literally and it was a little simplistic. We need you to have the confidence to create something that represents you as a designer, but also something that fits in with the brief given by the artist. And I think given the level of work with some of the other designers, in comparison, it was difficult for us to take that on, you know, on board as being as creative as the other ones. And your jacket was great, and, but it just felt like the rest of the outfit didn't have the wow factor. And Ricky, we just felt the outfit was catering to your personal style rather than Kanye. The most important part of the brief is the fact that you're creating a stage outfit for an artist who moves and performs as much as Kanye. I just don't think he would be able to get the, the functionality out of a piece like that. We thought that the outfit would look great if we saw somebody walking down the street in it. Yeah. But for what it was intended for and for the job that it needed to do, it just was too far off brief. This is competition. Everybody is competing against each other and the horrible side of it is that somebody has to go home. I know I'm an amazing designer and I believe that I've got what it takes. I just think I've just had cross wires. You know, I know I'm a good designer. I know I can give you something on the spot. If you tell me to do it, I'll do it in two hours if you want it. And that's what I've proved. And I know I could do something amazing next week. I haven't even begun to show you what I am capable of. Designing has been my dream since I was a kid. And I would love the opportunity to stay here and show you that the piece I made is not a representation of what I can be as a designer. I, I have got so much to prove to you guys. and it would be an honor to prove it again. I know this has been very emotional, especially this particular process. One of you is gonna go home. We're going to ask you to go home. We're saying goodbye. We didn't feel 
that your pieces as a whole were strong enough. We didn't see enough of what we were looking for in your work. Take this as a, as a stepping stone and a learning process. Not everybody's gonna love it, but don't for one second let it stop you. You keep doing you to the best of your ability. Thank you, Sally, very much. And we all wish you the best and the best and the best of luck. Um, I'm going home. I think it was a shock for everybody. You think, wow, OK, if Sally can go, then it, then all of us can go. I think Sally maybe didn't push herself as much as Ricky pushed himself. But it's dog eat dog. You've got to just work on your designs all the time, all the time. All right, Ricky, I know this is a difficult process to come and, and sit and be critiqued, but I hope that uh, you also are able to take a little bit of this out for the next challenge. And... I'm going to bring you guys so right for keeping me here. Thank you so much. We're going to get out there and kick some butt. I need to. All right, good. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Zainab. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Oh, yeah. you. Good <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Zainab. <laughs> this is a big deal. Hello. You, you won know. the first <gasps> challenge. Well done. Thank uh, you. So keep up the great work, and I can't wait to see how far you go. Thank you. Yeah.